First of all, guys, these right here are the teams that qualified. It's worth mentioning that Sue qualified as the number one seed because they beat Carmen Corp in the qualifiers. And then there are a couple of teams missing like Moist, Wild, or Resolve. All of them did not make it. We have the teams like Oida and Husky instead. They are consistent out of Yukio, Eugen and Yazi, and Husky is Pluvo, Grandma, and Ethan, and all the others you should know because they have been in the last regional as well, like Belligo with Haida, Speed, and Temper. So these are the teams playing right here. You can always return to this screen if you don't know which team I'm talking about. And now let's get into the prediction. The first EU regional was just like we expected it to be an absolute mess. Vitality dethroned by Gentle Mates, Kamin Cop on top, and Oxygen back to bottling it entirely. To predict such chaos, you need to think differently, and that's why I put the outro at the start and this intro randomly in the middle. Sue as the number one seed, I believe, will win their first match with a 3-1. and one. And then Gentle Mates against Kamin Cop. They played the grand final and then the last one. And I don't think they will have the upper hand this time around. Kamin Cop just too good, just like in the grand finals. And then Vitality, I think they will have a big motivation to come back strong this time around. And that's why they will start out with a 3-0 and o against Caliente. BDS, then too good for redemption. Top Cougars versus forward this is an interesting match i believe could go either way i gave it to forward though and then magnifico versus endpoint endpoint last time around had to go to round five and i don't think they're gonna have it easy this time as well so they will struggle a bit but against magnifico they will win in the first round because the first round is always the most chaos and therefore they will beat magnifico who went three and one in the last swiss stage and then the next team i believe will also be on the redemption arc just like vitality is oxygen they can't be happy with with going out in Swiss in the last regional. And that's why I think they will come out hot here and beat Belligo right here with a 3-2. and two. Then Team 3, in my opinion, a very underrated roster. They will take down Oida with a 3-1. and one, And this gives us the following round 2. This right here is one of the most exciting matches we have in this season. It's the, arguably the two best teams EU has. Vitality vs. Kamin Cop, And they would meet in round 2 if everything comes together like I predicted it. And as I said, Vitality wants to make up for the first regional. And that's why they're gonna take down Kamin Corp and deny them at 3-0 in the Swiss. Then Sue struggling against Endpoint. And this has Endpoint going 2-0 already. But they will need to play Vitality in the next round. So this is gonna be very tough to go 3-0 here. Then BDS versus Oxygen. And as I said, Oxygen needs to make up for their losses in the last Swiss stage. And that's why I think they might be BDS here. Swiss stage, everything is possible. Team 3 them always tossing in some random losses. And that's why I have them lose this right here. For also going 2-0 and, oh, and they will meet Oxygen in the next round. But before that, we take a look at the lower bracket and their gentle mates obviously need to bounce back and they will do just that against Caliente. And Magnifico also too good to just go down to 0-2 oh and, and that's why they take down Hosky. And then Belligol also getting their first stop on the board and Top Cougars tossing Oida down to the 0-2 oh bracket. As I said, round 3 starts with Vitality against Endpoint and I have them 3 them and forward also not enough against Oxygen. They gonna keep it close but oxygen is taking them down i think forward is a great roster i think at some point they will be a consistent top 80 but it's not yet the case because they are not getting it done to go three and oh right here then sue versus belly goal a very close one three and two for sue but belly goal as one of the fan favorites making it close and then we move on to bds getting a dub over top cougars team three not good enough to be gentle mates gentle mates came in very hot in the last regional i didn't expect it I thought they might be the OG of EU and completely bottled it in Swiss. But OG bounced back now in the second regional. Gentle Mates already showed what they were capable of in the first regional. So they're gonna stay up there now and move to 2-1. and one. Kamin Corp then also going to 2-1. and one. Magnifico, very unlucky that they drew into Kamin Corp here. But they are not out just yet. Redemption then winning against Hosky and Caliente also winning against Oida in a rather close one. But I think arguably the weakest teams in this regional are Oida and Hosky. And that's why I had to toss them out first here and this then is our round number four and Kami Corp obviously also too good for forward and that's why I had them in round number five just like Endpoint they had a good start went 2-0 and oh, but now they have to go to round five once again obviously getting Vitality and then BDS is a bit unlucky but at the end you have to win three games and I don't think they can do that before they go to round five and then Gentlemates also advancing to the playoffs against Sue Magnifico versus Kelly 
Valiente and I think Magnifico is gonna take them down right here with a 3 and 2 might be a close one but Caliente is not ready for the top 8 just yet I think and that's why the veterans in Magnifico advance right here team 3 versus Redemption I was very unsure who I want to give this to because Redemption I felt like had an underwhelming first regional but I also don't see them making the turnaround and team 3 made it to the top 8 last time and that's why I think they should have the upper hand here belly goal then also moving to round 5 but for them we're gonna start at the bottom it's not gonna be enough against endpoint endpoint getting it done getting to the top eight eventually after going 2-0 then 2-2 two and two, and then they get the 3 and 2 against belly go forward then unfortunately not making it in a very close one i have them go out against magnifico i think magnifico is just too good to not get the top eight they would need to have very unlucky matchup and some big arrows i believe to not make it they're just too consistent and then sue also getting it done eventually they can play a bit of the hype of beating Carmen Corp and get it done in the end and this is how our top eight then looks like now we're gonna start at the top again and i already told you i think vitality wants to get the this win now they're gonna toss it all in zen is on his redemption arc and that's why they're gonna take down endpoint with it 4 and 0 and coming covers bds absolute banger matchup i have it a game seven because that's a quarterfinal we all know that only the quarterfinals can have game sevens in eu or na everything else will be boring and that's why we see a game seven right here just like in the next matchup and as i said oxygen also needs to go on their redemption arc they are eu's og and that's why i think they will also get a semi-final right here against magnifico i think this is definitely possible and then gentlemates also getting the dub right here giving us the dream grand final already in the semi-finals and if vitality wants to get their thrown back they need to win this match and then oxygen with the huge upset against gentlemates because gentlemates made it to the grand final i think you can count that as an upset if oxygen comes in right here and then in the end however the grand final very boring match as always and i have vitality winning this right here and i predicted vitality to win the last regional as well and at the end they let me down but i don't think they're gonna have this happen twice in a row and that's why i think vitality is gonna have my back right here and these by the way would be the point rankings if it turns out like that vitality and coming corp at the top then gentlemates and oxygen also currently having a spot for the major and then bds and a couple of other teams in the hunt would make up for a very interesting last regional and guys as always i would love to hear from you what do you predict what do you like about my prediction and where was i dead wrong and if you enjoyed this video also sub to the channel would be awesome and i see you guys next time so guys to think outside the box i put the outro at the beginning and the intro in the middle and that means i still have to put something at the very end and then i didn't really know what to do here so i guess it will be just be me looking outside the window for a minute so yeah if we want to stick around for that um maybe maybe we can see a bird sometimes there's like a bird um you know, there's like a shed from the neighbor next to my window and there's sometimes a bird sitting on top of that. But um, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see, but at least I would see him. So a uh, minute can be very long, you know. No luck on the birds just yet. The weather is fine, at least. There was a bird, the second one. Ah, oh, you missed it, but I, I saw him. They didn't land on the shed, but they flew by, which was good as well. So yeah.